Like a moth to a flame, it pulls the same. Next thing we know, we're in a now bear's den. Tomorrow, I know it all begins again. But where we're needed, we will go. And I'll go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Heroes of the Plains. I'm Adam with Demi Plain, and I am joined by a fantastic group of people that I am so excited to play again with tonight. This is going to be so much fun. A couple of housekeeping things. As we are playing tonight, we are going to try to do something pretty fun that we are calling Chat Portents. So anytime that someone rolls a 20 on a d20 roll i don't know what else they would roll a 20 on actually i, I guess a, a percentage die they could uh, but whenever in uh, someone rolls a 20 we are going to allow people to enter a, a little giveaway in chat and as that happens you'll be able to join a demi plane adventure portal and roll a d20 that will then give that player a portent roll that they can replace any role that they have for the rest of the session with whatever you rolled for them. So um, everyone in the cast has already talked about this. And even if it's bad, we're probably going to use it because that's fun. So if someone rolls a 20, just direct your eyes to chat and our community manager, Megan, will walk you through exactly what's going on there. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our illustrious dungeon master, Todd Kenrick. That's me. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's introduce the amazing cast that we're all back together again and doing shenanigans. So uh, first off, uh, Lauren Urban, who are you and what are you playing? Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the community manager for Idol Champions. And I'm going to be once again playing Arkira Eldrex, who is a Dragonborn Cleric of the Phoenix. So all the fire and, and some healing too. Yeah. All right. Adam Bradford, uh, who are you and what are you playing today? I am Adam Bradford, and I am the chief development officer at Demi Plane, my new gig. And this is where we're coming to you from tonight. So you can follow me at Bad Eye Adam on Twitter because it's hard for me to take the time to read other longer places. <laughs> so Twitter's where I hang out most of the time. You can catch me on Discord here at Demi Plane as well. And I am playing. Briv Steel Marrow, also known as Briv the Bold. Have at thee. Well said. Uh, Penelope Halfpint is playing Hope Lavelle, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just like old times. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle, and um, you can find me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. And I am going to be playing Penelope Halfpint, your friendly halfling druid, Circle of the Moon. Be Dave Walters. B. Dave Walters, I say words about things. You can find me wherever fine streaming content can be located, including Monday nights with Jen and Adam, who are doing Alindra and Briv, and I'm doing Freely. But here we are, together again, tonight, somewhere in the future, somewhere across the plains, doing other stuff. Uh, I'm playing Freely, the lucky halfling. He is very tall for a halfling. Um, and uh, just really just happy to be here. Hopefully we're alive this time. I'm still not convinced we haven't been dead since the last time we were all together, though. Megan Kenrick. Hello, everybody. I am Megan Kenrick, and I'll be playing a uh, Riddle Rhiannon, a uh, level 11 gnome dampier wizard. I ran track and field at the School of Evocation. When I'm not running around, I'm also the queen of uh, Gnomish City, 7,271,938. It's nice to see you all again. That's why I married her. Uh, Jane Kretschmer, who are you playing? 
Hello, uh, I am Jen Kretschmer. I am a Dream Wisp on Twitter, Dream Wisp Jen on Twitch. I am one of the authors of this book, Candle Key Mysteries, which was released today. I'm very excited uh, to finally share it with everyone. And I am playing Alindra, your friendly neighborhood cleric divine, who has foreseen this moment where we all get back together again and adventure. Um, and I'm thrilled to be here. I think that's just me now. I, I didn't. I haven't lost anybody. Okay, well, it's me. I'm Todd Kenrick. Uh, I'm everywhere, all the time. No, uh, yeah, I, I am uh, the creative manager over at Codename Entertainment, and I do a lots of other D and D related things, including this. And I'm very excited to have all my friends back together again, and to to to, to keep keep these characters alive and kicking kicking. Well, at least not for too much longer we'll see how this goes some of us will kick yes and we, we're not rolling that trailer or anything we're just going right in right we're just going we, in we already hot. did so the right trailer all uh, right we already did, did the trailer all right, right. right it's a very trailer is trailer. awesome the trailer was super neat so like if we did I it again the song. Yeah. i mean how dare you make me feel my own feels during that trailer <laughs> yeah Seriously. it's upsetting so yeah. Many yeah. Feels. i i yeah how dare you <laughs> all right well we start off with the entire group of Heroes of the Plains completely scattered around the multiverse. And we find Briv Steel Marrow at a bar. Perhaps the stool he is sitting on is slowly cracking and groaning as well as the floor beneath him because of his steel metal bones are a bit much for your average inn. Especially this place. It is... Uh, Let's very, be honest, very... he's probably put on some pounds, too. <laughs> if he hasn't yeah, he been ha doing much for a year. Hasn't so. been doing that adventuring so much. So, you know. My my, my been one too many sweet teas. Right? So. <laughs> one too many. You, uh, you find yourself outside of an inn. Something that never has ever happened before. It is called Ramble's Bramble. It's ancient. It's old. The sign outside looks like it was carved 2,000 years ago by angry dwarves. What do you do? Is that everyone else or just me? That's just you. What are you doing um, right now? Yeah. Well, I uh, am actually getting uh, kind of shooed out of the bar because, you know, closing time has been like playing for <laughs> way too long, right? Legally is a distinct version of that. And, um, and so ultimately, um, they are trying to issue me out as, as much as possible. A few people have tried to pick me up by the tree trunk calves and, uh, it's just like not working. And eventually I kind of stumble out of the, the stool and I say, okay, thou canst put that on mine tab. What is your name, sir? I am Briv Steel Marrow. What is thine name? Well, I'm Gentle George. Well, I'm a Shoot. Warforged, as you can tell. Bouncer. That's Ramble over there. He's the, the, the bartender that owns this place. You've been rowdy. We're have to, you, you're going to have to be kicked out over there, kicked that out. goblin. That goblin's Thou Oscar that I'm a present. to kick me. Oh, well, don't make me wake up. Well, I'll wake up Oscar. Oscar used to be a great rogue. He's a... He's a we call him Oscar the Omnipresent. He's about five years old, so he looks about 200 for goblin years, but that's how that goes. So I, I do not know what thine problem is with me. I'm not done but, introducing my crew. Why are you rudely interrupting me? I also have Harry the balding bugbear. I must bald... exit this establishment. I'm sorry. I, my crew needs an introduction. <laughs> my crew Very needs an well, introduction. Please do. Okay. I'm letting mine food digest. This is anyway. Harry, the balding bugbear. He balds in all the wrong places, if you know what I'm saying. So and he's also, not Harry. Well. I'm going to have to ask you to leave this fine establishment right now. Thou hast already asked that. Well, I'm asking it again. Very well. Ask okay. away. Well, okay, then. I shall move when I want then to Then you go move. ahead and leave. And then there's a bright, fiery flash over the entire bar. And a burning, swirling circle of fire surrounds almost the entire bar area, including yourself. And then your ears pop, and you feel like your eyes are just going to pop out of their skull as well. And you have to take a breath as you suddenly find yourself in the bar, minus a roof, minus walls, and everyone who's in the bar on a mountainside. 
I am certain that to I have done this. <laughs> and there's this a burning circle around where you've been teleported. So is it cold up on top of this mountain? Yeah, it's cold. Are they shivering or anything? Did you do you did this? You and uh, your evil magics. I I would not call mine magics evil, but I am sure I am very powerful. I've owned this inn for 700 years. It is my pride, it is my joy. We have lost loved ones. It is we put blood, sweat and tears Everyone into this bar and now we're on a mountainside because of your dark magics. Are you well, you a conjurer? Some great conjurer, some famous Briv the Conjurer? Is that who you no, are? No, that doesn't even start with a B. Um, I am Briv the Bold, Briv the Beautiful, Briv the Bouncer, Briv the Boo Slayer. Uh, I have many monikers, but none of them start with a C. And so I am Briv the... I don't know what word starts with B that is powerful, but that is what I am. Yeah. Well, you're going to pay for more than just your tab. And Alindra. Where do we find Alindra Sarbrand right now? <laughs> we find Alindra uh, at a dig, dig site working on an excavation. Um, she has been tracing uh, this Ouroboros symbol all throughout her, her travels, um, all throughout Faerun, all throughout the travels that she's been on uh, with her friends, and she had clues that uh, there was another uh, more ancient civilization where this symbol had been found. She was tipped off to that, so she's been working on that dig site um, with Griff, her, her familiar who normally takes the form of an owl sitting on her shoulder, looking very judgmental at the way everyone is excavating the site, uh, and Grant, her blue dragon, a uh, baby blue dragon, a uh, familiar who's hanging out, um, playing with some of the excavation tools and trying to blow the dirt off of the pieces that have been unearthed. Okay, yeah, and you have found in the dirt, and uh, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it was, you, you, it's almost like a deserty area, like you're in the middle of the Sahara, only is purple sand and violet and kind of has a rainbow hue all around you and you have these large stonehenge like figures around you and suddenly you start to feel kind of like was an earthquake yeah. and you have a sense of dread as you are seeing like er no one else has noticed uh, it quite yeah, yet uh, hello is everyone did anyone else feel that we should get to cover. I make sure I'm clear of the monoliths so in case they fall. They already are falling right at this moment. And they are okay. falling on top of you and the sand falls and fills in around you. You can make a dexterity saving throw if you'd like to. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Don't so, fail. So, You'll die. <laughs> it's a 19. It works. It's a 19. <laughs> Yeah, you managed to character. Oh no! <laughs> you you managed to like roll to the side right as like a giant stone obelisk falls on top of you, but just shy. You've got like a little bit of a nook that you are now in, and then there is another bright flash, and Briv, you are covered in sand. <laughs> sand falls from the sky on top of your head, and then this very pale elf just drops from the sky onto the ground. Oh, I can't catch her. Uh, you, you can make an athletics check. All right. Let's do that. I mean, he he would try to if he realized what was going on anyway. It's like almost from like 100 feet up, too. You, 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 I don't know. Does Alinda scream when she's falling? That is a 30. Oh, yes. Quite a bit. Yeah. I got a 30 on the athletics check, if that matters. You, uh, Alindra, you fall into the arms of... Briv still marrow, it is raining, and then about two seconds later, you are covered in sand as it drops I hate and glitters it. Oh. Briv's beard. Oh. It hitteth oh. everywhere. Oh. Hello, Briv. Oh, I did not know it was you. Hello, Alindra. What are you doing here? I was in a bar drinking, and then I was here, and it was kind of cold. And then I saw sand falling, and I heard thou screaming, or I don't know what that was. I don't, I don't scream myself. Oh, uh, 
I believe that thou wert. I thought thou no, wert I'm sure. I, in I, some I'm sort sure of distress. And but at this exact regardless, moment, regardless, at this exact moment, somewhere else in the multiverse, strangely enough, is Freely, the lucky boy. What does Freely look like at this moment? Ah, uh, you know, um, it's uh, the, the, it's been a rough go of things, but you know, he still look he still looks like fairly youthful and uh, exuberant with uh, his signature red hair with the green streaks. Um, his uh, clockwork arm is uh, well oiled, uh, but he's still dressed like a pirate because he uh, then once he kind of found that aesthetic, he, he kind of leaned into it. He kind of leaned into it. Um, kind of leaned into it, yeah. yeah and you yeah. were surrounded by light, bright, shining light everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You are huh. outside the gates of Mount Celestia. Oh, I made it. Wait, am I <laughs> dead again? <laughs> no, hold on. Well, but I mean, like, okay, like maybe I'm alive, maybe I'm dead, but like, this is what I was after. This is okay. This is all right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, <clears throat> I'll thaumaturgy to make my voice boom. Um, he hello, he hello. I'm you hear a deep voice. Freely, it is time. Oh, and I you see, in this bright, shimmering light, this kind of. Uh, pink purplish skin this angel with large white wings slowly descends from the walls of Mount Celestia and comes to land right before you shining you in holy celestial light and the <sighs> gates of Mount Celestia slowly creak open I mean I, I must admit I thought I had more time but, uh, but that's, that's okay that's okay that's okay that's, okay. that's alright this is good this is good this is good uh, Penelope's not gonna believe this place. Hopefully she doesn't see it for a really long time. Oh, 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 oh. hi, hello, angel person. Hi. Freely, I know you have questions, and I'm no. about to tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> oh, okay. And you can exist existence. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I need a perception check from Briv Stillmarrow and also uh, Linda Sarbrand. It's that dream again. <laughs> And there's like 15. And the angel's just like, okay, I guess she didn't want to know. <laughs> I, I got a 15. If I see 15? freely falling out of the sky, I'm also trying to catch him without first dropping Alindra. Uh, so <sighs> Alindra completely fails and rolls a one because she's wow. busy falling into Briv's arms. However, Griff has an, uh, an eight. <laughs> That's an and eight. Spots. Spots. 18. I know those oh, eyebrows. Uh, uh, Griff, uh, you, you hear a weird... There's judgment I'm not paying enough attention. Yeah, you freely, you are drowning. Uh, you, you, there is no oxygen. You are in complete utter darkness. You don't know. Maybe you're, you're maybe in some strange plane of existence. Maybe you're back out into the, the outer planes again. You're not quite sure. Not again. Am I a mind flayer again? Man... No, your your lungs fill with some kind of terrible putrid liquid, and, and uh, you hear a kind of a weird voice going from one of the wine barrels in, in the bar on the mountain in the rain. Would you shut me down, please? Uh, uh, sure. I apologize. Did you? Griff, stop pecking at me. I don't... Did, did any of us hear that? The owl... Yeah, yeah. Griff flies over to the barrel and starts pecking at the barrel. Um, what is the problem with I know? You hear muffled, just kind of pseudo screams. <laughs> what kind of establishment is this? Thou dost keep live food you, you in the cast? Don't judge. You don't know what, what the, the cultural norms are. However... I, I definitely. Probably... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No head. I, was, I definitely would extend my mechanical sword at some point. I'm like, Shh, just to see what's up. Yeah. The sword just pokes suddenly through the barrel, nearly mm. nicking Griff. Oh. And Griff mm. just kind of like sidesteps. I know that sword. Mm. And wa wine starts doing? pouring out of it. Oh, we should probably take the lid off. Uh, Briv walks over at this point and like just tries to like pull apart the splinters uh, yeah. of of the wine. Yeah, you, uh, you the metal surfaces onto your hands, and you just tear open the barrel, kind of Captain America style, like it was a phone book. <laughs> ah, ah, that is 
Not how I thought I'd go, especially because I thought I already went. Hey! Freely. Guys... Hello. Thou didst waste all of this alcohol. That's Are what we... you're concerned about? Are we dead? Hang on. No, 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 no. I was I was at a place that I thought I was dead, and now I'm at another place that doesn't make any sense, and the two of you are here. Are we dead? I... I did. Br- I did. Briv licks his forearm. I believe we are alive. I don't feel dead. I mean, you look great, but I just, uh... uh... Okay, it press the digitation. Is, like, is there, the, <laughs> the, the is there prestig- anything I can gather about this place? Yeah, you, you go ahead and roll me a survival or our contract to figure out where you might be right now. Um, at the same moment, what's up uh, with the bald bugbear? Yeah, <laughs> like in all the wrong places. Harry. He's not though. Tis his name. Oh, it's ironic. Ah. I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> You don't. You do not. No, okay. No. Is it and... like rain on your wedding day? Uh, it, yeah, it's like a free ride when you already that's... paid. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't seem like that's ironic. It's, it isn't, but it rhymes. Later on in the elemental plane uh, of fire, outside of a large fortress made purely of a volcano is Orcara Eldrex by a lake of lava. What are you, what are you doing? actually, by this lake of lava. I am sitting as cross-legged as I can, um, thumbing through a book of Primordial for Beginners. Uh, and she's pretty pretty late in the book <laughs> as she's looking at it. She's like, ah, ah, yeah, this vowel always gets me. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Ah, I know, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I'll work on it later. I'll work on it later. Okay. And she'll put that back in her bag and sit back and just go, oh, this is nice. And that's when you hear this. You look around and there's a spinning fiery circle all around you. Well, I mean, that's, that's normal. That's, that happens a lot here. And then you pop away. Oh, (laughs) It suddenly goes from being extremely warm, which you love, to bitterly frozen cold. And you are up in the sky about 300 feet and it is drizzling. And you see what, for some reason, someone has built the inside of a bar. Maybe there's a play going on. Who knows? On the side of a mountain. I'm, and I'm falling, I assume? Yeah, you're falling. Oh, it's freezing! What happened? Ah! And before she spreads her wings, she's gonna reach back into her pack. She's gonna pull out a fuzzy hat and place it over her head, sliding it over her horns, making sure it's all nice and secure. She's like, oh, I'm glad that I got this made in water deep. Ah! Oh, this sucks! Spreads her wings and she'll start to circle above this inn. Yeah, Briv, Briv, Freely, and Alindra, you hear the, a familiar complaining. <laughs> above in the sky as if the sky has become sentient that's weird the sky hates all the same things where Kira does <laughs> oh it's tizzle true. Kira I believe oh it's such a jaunty hat meanwhile I have pulled out my my book of the phoenix and I'm going to pray to my god and say just because I wasn't getting the vowel right doesn't mean you have to send me somewhere cold why what? oh hi and I'll swoop on down as you're swooping Hello. down several rocks start to fall. I need dexterity saving throws from everyone that is you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, just oh, Lauren or the rest of us? Everyone within the radius, it's all of you. Uh, I need okay, dexterity so saving throws. If you're of... within 10 feet of me, you get a plus four. Oh. I, don't... <laughs> I don't think I've gotten down that far, so I got a 15. Yeah, 15. All right. Like, you're getting hit by, like, pieces of pebbles and stuff like that, but it's all, like, obsidian. It's all vol- volcanic glass is falling. And then 19. the lava comes. De- you said it was pure it just deck save, right? Yeah. 17. Uh, that is going to be 26. <laughs> he- he's an agile halfling. But so no need to show off. Help! 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 help, help. <laughs> like backflip out of the way. Yeah, you're like dodging these rocks and you're like, ah, I feel pretty good about myself. And there's like like gravel and all kinds of bits and stuff. And then the glowing 
chimney red Halloween orange glow of lava starts pouring down from the lake that Orkira Eldrex was still at because the portal is still open and the river, this entire waterfall of lava starts pouring down next to the inn, setting part of it on fire. And you manage to dodge out of the way at the last second. Man, I'm glad I had not sunk my life's work into that place. I mean, right? I, I, I turn to the owner and I say, I did not I, do I that hate part. all of you. I, I, I'm in hell. I'm in the I, well, hells. I'm in Inverness. What? I hate it. looks we, like it. We are did, dead. Did you, have, did you have insurance? I missed a payment. Well, oh. that's on you then. <laughs> Big I mistake, suppose, pal. I'm so sorry. Why is there an in here? And why are all of you here? I was hoping you would have some insight into that. Seeing no, as I was just practicing my primordial, and the next thing I know, I was here. Meanwhile, in the Shadowfell, in Ravenloft, in Castle Ravenloft, <laughs> a tiny gnome. Would you like to describe yourself, Whittle? Like, well, yeah, sure. You know, I uh, stand about five feet tall. I'm pretty, pretty tall for a gnome. Um, I really <laughs> like wearing metal-colored things, uh, metal jacket metal pants um i like to wear these goggles i made them for a few of my friends before she right. has she has pale skin five feet tall <laughs> oh and she also has a bandolier of butter yeah. across her chest you you have a number of wounds as well because you've been in a, a very lethal confrontation zombies skeletons all kinds of undead and you are in the throne room of Strad von Sarovich, who is actively chasing you right now furious eyes glowing red and you misty step onto his throne hey, what uh, are you doing so I'm on his throne right now <laughs> hey yep. Strahd you looking for me? Because I'm looking for a friend of mine. You know, I've been looking for him for a long time. That's why I'm here. He turns to mist himself and slowly snakes into like three different particles of mist, like two snakes, all three snakes that all come together and form. And then his glowing eyes appear first and foremost. And then his whole form appears and he reaches out to grab your throat at this exact moment, and then an orange light circles in a sphere around you completely, and you appear in a bar. And on suddenly, a mountain. <laughs> on a mountain. It's like a nesting <laughs> doll. Rain. <laughs> well, Next to uh, a motion of fire. In a lump on a log. In a... <laughs> Behind you. Is, you if, if, have really if, got some atmosphere I want to hear this poem. Sometimes. If you give anyway. a gnome a cookie. Yeah, <laughs> right. If you you give see a this gnome butter. in this very ornate throne that is very red and plush, but the, the outside of it is golden, and you see two golden ravens on top of it as well, and then you see a hand floating in front of her with long, clawed fingernails, pale and severed, just dropped to the ground next to her feet, still twitching. <laughs> wow, you Br Briv walks style. up and kicks it. That's uh. Hey just, everyone. Do you football it, or do you just? I, kick I, it? I I am trying to yes through the goalpost. Like I, I'm just <laughs> wham. Just Riff, Riff still marrow. Football kicks Strad von Serovich's right hand <laughs> <laughs> down the mountain and through the lava. Um, hey twitching. everyone, I. Nice to see you again. Kind of unexpected. I was in the middle of a conversation with Strahd. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's not a very nice vampire. I think he took my friend. He's the head of all vampires. And a vampire took my friend. So I was looking to talk to the manager of the vampires. Um, I'm glad to be here, but I still got some unfinished business with him. Uh, but I see that you're all kind of uh, enjoying yourself at a bar. So why don't we get a line of shots? Okay, and so I get, get reacquainted. If this deceptively tall gnome was throwing hands with Strahd and is now here, we are absolutely dead. This is 100% the afterlife. Like, it just is. Like, I mean, just we should just accept that. Where How'd Penelope... I'm glad Penelope survived. But... Yes. Yeah, no. The rest of us, apparently, this is what happens when we're not Penelope together. Penelope was no. the best of us. Yeah. And so, therefore, she deserved all the goodness that or, shall come to her in her still-alive life. 
Or now she's going to bring ruin to the prime material plane because none of us are there to stop her from I, doing that. Like, because I'm still not 100% she wasn't never Ember the entire time. I don't know why you said or. 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 I don't know why you said or. I don't know why it can't be both that it's good that she has survived and also, I mean... If I was going to bow down to anybody, it'd be Penelope anyway. I mean, that is true. Uh, hello, uh, what, what, what is your name, by the way, uh, Fair Gnome? Uh, I'm Freely. Hi. Oh, hey, uh, Freely, I don't know if you remember, but we've actually met before. Uh, I'm Whittle. Uh, we danced at this huge vampire club a long time ago. Oh, that thing with Averin when he maybe became a god, possibly. Oh, yeah, that time. I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, good to see you again. You, hey, you're yeah. Look a little more pale than you were. Like, are you feeling okay? No, to be con completely honest, I'm not feeling that great at all. Um, oh, I, are you I, hurt? I can help. I don't think I'm hurt, but I smell really bad all the time now, and I got long teeth. Ox and down I, now, I a bloodthirsty creature of the I'm night. pretty thirsty for blood most of the time, yeah. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and oh. at this moment, in the dark, in the underdark, in a large cavernous cave, we have Penelope half pint. Penelope, you're alone, but you're having fun. There's like little glowing mushrooms everywhere, and some of them are actually bouncy. So you can hop from mushroom to mushroom, and then you hear this kind of chirping noise. This. <laughs> I find it. All right, you you look through the mushrooms, and, and and underneath one of these glowing mushrooms, you find this tiny little uh, wiggling worm, and it sees you, and its tail just starts waggling back and forth in excitement, like a puppy. Did you just say something? <laughs> okay, but I have to be honest. The last time I picked up a worm, it didn't end up so good for me. <laughs> Okay, I can't say no to you. Come on in. She opens up her shrug cloak. It hops into your shirt cloak, and it's a big, wriggly worm. Uh, uh, very strong. You've never seen one of this type before, you don't think, but something's a bit familiar. Something's a bit strange. And then you hear it kind of go, <laughs> and start to kind of cry. Oh, don't <gasps> cry. Don't cry. <laughs> What? Huh? What? Okay, gotta slow down. Hang on. And then the wall explodes in the cavern. As you see a giant purple worm barreling down on you because you have picked up its baby, its child. And I all, known all, of sudden, all the stalactites are falling from the sky. From not the sky. They're falling from the ground. Don't want to scare the other party. Uh, falling from the top of the cavern, and it is just barreling down on you. Uh, 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 I wild shape into one. <laughs> <laughs> you wild shape into a purple worm? Sure. <laughs> you, you turn into a little purple worm, and it's not convinced. It just now thinks you're a greater threat because purple worms will eat their own young. <laughs> Uh, you know, each other's young, not, you know, specifically your own through. young. Yeah, and uh, suddenly you see a orange portal open up just behind you. Okay, there's one thing I know about portals is to always jump into them without thinking about it. <laughs> All right, everyone who is in the open plan bar on the top of the mountain, in the drizzle, in the rain, in the cold... A portal opens up at this moment, very close to the giant uh, waterfall of lava that is still pouring down by the, from the fire elemental plane. And this worm just trucks through the inn, destroying just tables and desks and everything else. It's, it's a medium-sized worm. It's not the large worm, but it's you know big enough to eat a person. And it just shoots right through this massive portal. Oh, watch out. There's a lot of lava over there. Oh, he's uh, 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 no, last time. Yeah, no, but Freely pulls out both of them, too. He's like, last time we saw purple worms, it just did not go well for us. So, no, let's do this thing, Riff. Come on, let's go. Well, I mean, it's it's going away. It's it's not, right? 
Like, it's just going that way. It shall hurt someone it's who is in this remote wilderness. We must kill it before it kills others. Yep, agreed. Let's roll it up. <laughs> Briv starts running towards the one. Free, free that has two. <laughs> All right. What's everyone else doing? Is the portal uh, still... Are any of these portals still open? Is the portal with the lava... The portal the por to the elemental play of fire is still open. The one to Ravenloft is most definitely closed. <laughs> I mean, if, if we all just want to go see the Phoenix, I can fly on up and we can get out of here. It's way nicer. And, and you're noticing there's like kind of electricity in the air, this kind of yellowish electricity, like sparking around all of you within about like a 120 foot radius. Like wild magic is afoot. Something has gone desperately wrong. So uh, who's attacking the purple worm? <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Let's, let's roll initiative on the purple worm. Well, you know, I don't know if I we think, really need I think to I'm gonna... the purple worm. I know someone who domesticated one a long time ago. Uh, it was know. tough training it, but... What, what, what 24. Oh. All right. All right. If they're running after the purple worm, I will, I will follow. I'll be like, I can just get us out of here. I'll just fly us one at a time. All uh, right, uh, go and roll an attack roll. Alindra with a natural twenty, though. Yep. Oh crap! Ooh, nice. Ooh, natural okay, 20 natural twenty. First, first of the campaign. Hey. That portents. Nice. Mm. How portentous! How portentous! I had foreseen this moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I hadn't. That wasn't one of my portents. <laughs> yeah. And I rolled a twenty-one on my initiative. Okay. Do you want me to do separate initiatives for Griff? Uh, no, no, it, it would be simpler. So what are you doing right now? I would like to cast telekinesis and hold this creature aloft so it doesn't... Okay. ...eat us. Um, so... It, what's the, it's a uh, saving throw? I am going to show you right now. The, uh, the, the, everyone in the bar is, uh, now panicking they went from perturbed to like okay something's very very wrong and some of them are just kind of backing away they're not quite um, liking all of this so it's my spell casting ability versus the creature's strength check okay penelope half might make me a strength check as you are a purple worm right now <laughs> what a twist <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least one of us is really going to die out here. Okay. <laughs> She's going to ironically be the only one that is actually dead at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm just holding her aloft. It's, it's a 23. Oh, okay. oh wow. I... <laughs> yeah. I'm her aloft and I chop at her tail. You feel this weird arcane energy as you blast through and you're trying to get your bearings as, you know, your worm eyes aren't that very good. Um, identifying things, but you have great sonar, and you sense that you maybe there's an inn nearby you. Maybe the wild shape didn't quite take effect because you appear to be in the mountains now, and none of this makes sense. So that what was a a 20, but that's not enough to be the 20. You continue to fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. And well, what are you doing, bro? You're next, right? I had a 20. Um, I think I was oh, you, have, you yeah, thank go you. ahead freely. Yeah. Freely, what are you doing to the worm? Uh, Rose, like, hey, it's just like old times. Uh, bonus action hex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna hex. Let me see what, what I think Briv's gonna do. Uh, I'm going to hex its, uh, strength checks in case this thing starts trying to grapple. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start mellow, just a green flame blade, you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, that's going to be, uh, um, oh, come on. Where are we? I apologize. That's going to be a 26 to hit. <laughs> I, I uh, assume that's enough. Yeah, you, 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 I think you hit, you hit, uh, roll your damage against Penelope Half Pint. Freely is attacking Penelope Half Pint, the purpley worm right now. Incorrect. I'm attacking a purple worm that maybe consume Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We don't have uh, a clue what this is. <laughs> also, also, we're on brand, and and at the risk of being meta, even if we kill her, we're just gonna knock her out of worm swarm status. So I'm only gonna drop a level <laughs> a, a level one smite on it. <laughs> just we're gonna put a, put a little put a little a little a little pepper on this one. If Briv hits, he's doing yeah. it. All go big way. or go home. Yeah. yeah exactly. Just, what what is everyone else doing? Just, just uh, put a little, uh, little not, smoke on it. Not actions, <laughs> but just like how are you reacting to this scenario? 
I'm shaking my head and walking to the bar and trying to grab some liquor behind the bar to pour myself <laughs> oh. a shot. Well, this is all happening. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just fought Strahd. Just <laughs> did 25 points of damage. <laughs> And I'll let you decide if the green flame blade ignites anything else, because it ignites other hostiles. So uh, you, you tell me if anything else catches on fire after the you, green flame blade. Yeah, you strike the purple worm that you don't know is actually Penelope Half Pint. You feel this flame and this stabbing in the uh, in the side of your purple wormness in one of your segments. Um, at the same time, I, I will, really, I just, I just yell, "Go on, get you big old bu- bully!" <laughs> What, what's the range on Green Flame Blade? It's like five feet, right? I, th- I think it's five feet, yeah. Yeah, it's so just, it, it doesn't connect, but it shoots right past your head. You almost have to dodge as it, like, leaps from your target behind you. And then you see a much bigger purple worm. Oh, man. <laughs> Moving right through the portal like a freight train. <sighs> All right. Um, well, let's go. One for both of us, Briv. Um, and that's it for me. I <laughs> shall take it that one. <laughs> that's it for me. Penelope, what are you doing right now? You've been attacked. You're on the mountainside. It's raining. Manamana. Manamana. What is happening? Penelope's gonna kind of, uh, as she kind of lands and like is sliding, and and she's just gonna tumble and then pop out and go. I see people. What the? Ow, d- ow. Is a purple hey. worm you say this, or do you nope. pop out of your form? I pop out of my form. Oh, okay. Hey, the worm has swallowed Penelope! It worked! Yeah! Thou didst disappear the worm. Well done, Penelope. Hey! Oh, what are you doing as a purple worm? And, and who's your purple worm friend? Yes, who, who who's with you? Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, and, and Penelope will pull out the, the baby worm and kind of present it out. No, we are not talking oh, about the, the little the, one. No. We're talking about the gigantic one. She does have a little purple worm wriggling in her arms. Also, did, did you not learn the lesson about picking up worms and taking them with us? I'm attacking the big one if time. it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone roll your initiative. <laughs> do it. Reroll, or they just join? Yeah, in the let's, let's go and do a reroll. All right. Well, actually, no. Everyone who did roll, go and keep it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, everyone okay. who hasn't rolled initiative, do so now. We're on brand, folks. We're on brand. <laughs> Thirteen. Nine for me. Okay. Uh, Twenty-one and can, for me. Can someone keep track of that in chat for me? That'd be great. All right, so we'll go ahead and say that Briv and uh, uh, and uh, Alindra went and Freely went. Now, who's next? Briv, I think. Okay, but no, you already you already went. Well, this is a no. new round of combat. No, no, he, he, no, he didn't. I, I never went. Oh, yeah, he, he never went. That's yeah. right. Yeah, no. go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I was going to smash something, but see, I never I'm terrible now. It's been too long, and now I don't know how to do all, all, things. All in good. Order. I mean, I'm just going to walk up and attack the uh, the purple worm for sure. The big one. Okay. Yes, the big one. <laughs> all right. I am going to. Um, yeah, I'm just going to attack. I started to say I was going to try to wrestle it, but um, I don't think that's going to be a good move, actually. Um, all right, so uh, I walk up. You see that metal uh, used my reaction to armor up, so metal rides out of my pores, covers me in armor, and then I, I'm going to swing steadfast, and that is going to be um, uh, it's an 18. Does that hit? One second. It hits exactly. Yep. Excellent. So then that deals uh, only nine points of damage. I'm going to attack again, though. Okay. Yeah, you smell its hot, fetid breath, and you see all of its thorns digging into the side of the mountain as it's just scooping up snow and rock and starting to get close to the inn itself. Mm, okay. I'm going to attack again. Ooh, that one missed. I missed that one. Okay. It- it hath gotten past me. Save the alcohol. 
most of the alcohol is either in Willow probably or on freely at the moment. Now is Orkira? Orkira, what are you doing as this is all all this madness is is happening right now? And it's almost kind of beautiful because the sun is uh, hasn't quite fully come up yet, and and you're basking in the glow of this lava waterfall that's slowly descending the mountain. Yeah, but there's snow everywhere, and that sucks. Uh, how many people are in the inn besides uh, the motley crew of us? Well, there's Ramble, who is the bartender. We've got Harry, the balding bugbear. You know, we've got we've got Gentle George, the wall, the warforged, and we, we have Oscar, the omnipresent. This old, we didn't have time for it. <laughs> this this old goblin is still asleep, still asleep. Okay, in his are... rocking chair. Just. I mean, props to him. Uh. Nobody else, just these four and yep. my friends. Awesome. Yep. And oh, I don't want to just. Okay, I'm going to uh, move so that I am in a position where I'm like 30 feet away from as many people as possible. And I'm holding on to my book and I'm like, do we want to just take a portal out of here? I don't know why we're here, but we probably shouldn't want to be here anymore. Oh, that's coming back. And I'm going to channel divinity. I'm going to do explosion of life. And you're going to watch as a a burst of flames comes out from me and extends out 30 feet. So I want to get the four people in this building, especially the sleeping goblin, because, <laughs> oh, poor, poor dude. Um, <laughs> but am I within 30 feet of any of my friends? Yes, you are. Awesome. So if you start your turn within 30 feet of me, you are now... Um, you now have um, resistance to fire damage and you can roll a D8 and you get a D8 temporary hit points at the start of your turn. Um, They don't stack. So I'm going to do that as my action and just get everybody. And then I'm going to go up to the goblin that's in the rocking chair and I'm going to pick up the rocking chair and I'm going to move goblin and rocking chair so that it is not in the path of the worm. (laughs) Because I'm hoping this worm is going to turn around and go back through the portal. <laughs> okay. So I'd like to gently pick up rocking chair. All right, come on. Let's just get you out of the way, Grandfather. Here we go. <laughs> you just got to slide him to the side slowly. Who's next? Um, It's probably... I put the order in, in chat. Uh-huh. So after... after uh, or curious freely. Well, everyone... Well- yeah. Already for who already went. Then Penelope followed by Widow. Yep. Okay. So uh and somewhere you, the yeah, world. you had a natural twenty, Alind- don't forget yourself. I did. Yeah, no, I'm in there. Briv and I uh, Briv, Alindra and Orkira have already gone. Yeah. In, in yeah. the order. And Penelope bamfed out of Wild Shape. Yeah, so it's um, just Whittle then I guess. Okay. So Whittle what what are you doing at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm protecting all of the alcohol and I see everything happening and I cast magic missile at the large worm. Okay. What are you casting it as? As a six spell slot. Six level spell. All right. Controversially, let's roll 1d4. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, got to do some math here. One moment, please. That While you're is... doing math, I will remind everybody you get a D8 temporary hit points at the beginning of your turn. <laughs> this is... And fire resistance, correct? And you are resistant to fire, yes. So that empowered evocation is going to apply to one dart. Correct? Um, let's go and get crazy and do all darts, and we'll see how overpowered that is. <laughs> so. Six times eight. Six times eight? All right. Don't make me do my own math. <laughs> That's 48. It's 48. All right. Uh, to describe how yes. you cast magic missile, though, specifically. Um, she takes out a few bobby pins from her hair and loads it into her blunderbuss and shoots eight darts directly at the large worm. Out of what? The oh, blunderbuss. Oh, the blunderbuss? Yeah. Okay. And th- those streak out? Yes. Yeah, so you see this vampire gnome basically just pull out a blunderbuss and then like eight darts, just rapid fire, kind of like from our fifth element. And they just go, they just spiral and hit the, the purple worm all at the same time and do that amount of damage. All right, who is next? Uh, we're back to the top of the order, so that would okay. be. Okay. 
Alindra with Griff. Um, All right, Alindra, what are you doing? I think we should just get this thing back to where it came from. So I am going to use banishment uh, to try and banish it back to its original uh, plane of existence. It needs to make a charisma saving throw versus 16. And I have a full scene this moment <laughs> with a nine. Oh, I oh. don't think so. Not now. We have enough to deal with. Can't you tell? What? What? Does, how does your banishment work? And all says a minus three charisma. So uh, for people's uh, <laughs> for those at uh, home, use charisma based spells on worms. So if it's native to a different plane of existence than the one we're on, it is banished with a faint popping noise. Uh, and cool. So it's cool. And it's not coming back. So it won't it won't return if it's not made of this plane of existence. Since you have foreseen this moment, I imagine like Alinda just stands in front of it and it's just getting barreling. There's rocks and snow flying everywhere and it's this I'm close to the wood and of I the think inn. She just snaps. <laughs> and it just leaves this existence. No! Right, so out. what are we all doing here? You very much see freely just go, ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> But, uh, but what about the worm? There, there's a th see that he portal so. right there. See that portal right there. Okay. <laughs> and Elvie's gonna run with like the worm and she, wait. <laughs> She's gonna go. I and... need a acrobatics check from you. Difficulty is fifteen. If you don't make it, you are the proud owner of a giant purple worm. So that poor parent. <laughs> <laughs> spiral it. Spiral it. <laughs> Wait, Parenting was this a... is about learning to let go. So. No! <laughs> is this a dex save, you said, or a dex check? No, athletic, uh, athletics Acro or acrobatics. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. And, uh, does she get a bonus from you, Brian? It's a dirty 20! Uh, if it's a, <laughs> is it a save? No, it's not a save, right? Yeah. You are able to chuck this purple baby worm right through the portal. <laughs> And you see suddenly more as you do so, you go in a very satisfying woof, and uh, you see golden electricity coming from the floor of the inn at this exact moment. Um, it's actually eroded the wood and burned it away, uh, and you see a cubic gate, a magical item that you are very familiar with. What it, is this doing here? Sparks. Are kind of like erupting on the side of it like it looks like it's been jury rigged and and not not really put together the right way was this thine alindra no i haven't had it since he, someone left it in rexentrum <laughs> was uh, that me i'm not going back to rexentrum like not at all i no. don't know why it's here but someone else left it in rexentrum well, that was not my fault i was busy being arrested <laughs> Oh, wait, you mean like when they took it and it was like put in that giant vault that was impenetrable because then later on we found out that Rakira was dead and found a way to bring her back to life and then took off to Hooper Duke and enjoy some like delightful hot dogs and then maybe I died in an explosion? Maybe I died in an explosion. Really, you're not dead. I would know. Uh, uh, I'm going to look over at... Well, it's dead. I mean, have you checked out this gnome, though? She seems a little I'm... undercooked. If you That's know a later I mean. problem. She is a later problem. I'm going to look over at the bartender. Is that normal? <laughs> What about any of this is normal to any of you? Surprisingly, all of it is fairly normal, it, yes. actually. Very that's kind of is our day. life. Yeah, this is kind of what it's we do. Tuesday. So that's a no. Okay, that's good. We should probably get out of here. Anyone want to take a trip to uh, my hometown? It's very nice this time of year. It's nice all times of year. See, portal right up there. And then from Thou there, we can get to about the plane of fire? lava coming out of it. Is there Still. a way to repair the cubic gate or to stop it from doing what it's doing? Uh, you can make our arcana check. I will do so. Let's see. So that is a 25. Yeah, you, you pull the wire. Oh, <laughs> you find oh, the red just, wire. This is, this is loose, and if we just... There we are. What the... Wait, I, I made it to the gates of paradise and got sucked back here by a loose wire? <laughs> that no, just means you can't be dead, right? <sighs> well, but your time. I mean, at least I'm seeing you guys. Penelope, oh my god, Penelope! Run, 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 hugs Penelope. <laughs> Yay! Chest bump, bring it in, bring it in. Mm. 
Okay. Br Briv kind of uh, wanders up there and is trying to chest bump. He's like holding out like he wants <laughs> one. Okay, wait, hang on. Wait, I gotta, I gotta get a ready start. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Briv does not hold back. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not dead. You're right. That wouldn't hurt so bad. Ow. I'll, I'll come walking up to Alindra. It's good to see you too. You, you fixed it? I think so, yes. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice hats. Thanks. I got it in Waterdeep. Do you know that there's places in Waterdeep that can actually, like, make clothing? I, I did. Um, yeah, yeah that, like a number of places. Exactly. Wait a second. Wait a minute. If we're yes. all here, where are Averin and Sophia if the rest of us are here? Did they, wait, did he do this to us? I mean, Is probably. I haven't seen him in. Thou shalt not speak his name. I mean, if I say it three times, will it summon him? Summon him? Like, Avon, 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 Avon. Oh, please. Is don't. that how it's worked? <clears throat> it's not, uh, not how it works. Riv is then looking what looked like a snowbank at this exact moment fades, and there is no snowbank. And you see an image of Averin covered in leather studded armor staring at all of you. So, um, I can explain. Eldritch blast the image. <laughs> <laughs> Go and roll your attack roll. <laughs> Will you at least let him give the evil monologue before He's, you hit him? Hand to God. Hand to God. It was a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll your crit. I'm like, He's got to come in. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, my God. I got to look at the health points. And another it's, chat for you. You'll live through, you know, one or two Eldritch Flares. I think I only th I think I only shoot two at this While age. this is going on, Brave is unconcerned, and he is looking for garlic behind the bar. If there's any food left, he's looking for garlic. <laughs> oh, yes. Are you making garlic bread, or are you really concerned about? I'm yeah. t testing Whittle out. <laughs> yeah, what, 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 what are you looking for there, Briv? I am uh, nothing. I am oh. looking for food. I am hungry. I am fat. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, <laughs> so <it's> rosemary <laughs> it's just a real slow it's like wow that's a lot of spices uh 40 what does points. garlic start with <laughs> 40 points of damage but the other two like miss wildly because when i actually hit him and i'm like oh no it's really him i have a turn and turn and the other two are like pew, 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 pew. So two, so oh. two hit but one was a crit well, only one hits, and it's a crit for 40 points of damage. The other two miss completely, but narratively, I'm like, after Freely connects with one, he's like, oh no, it's really him. <laughs> Trying to, like, not hit with the subsequent ones. 4-0, though. Uh, you see, and does it have any kind of other effects on your Eldritch Blast? Just damage. It shoots right through his stomach, and Avrin doubles over onto the ground, gasping. <laughs> and there is a hole in him. Is it he, is it a, a a real Averin or is it a snow Averin? I mean, that would be the, the natural question here. You, you, really I, well done. I asked like Snowbank. That's why I asked. Bad luck with Snowbanks. Penelope runs up right. to him. Uh, not feeling so good. Uh, I, I he he warned me that people would be testy. Oh God. Who warned you? Averin. So tell us what you need to tell us then, quickly, please. So Before thou dost die. I don't think die. we can help my <laughs> Well, there's a situation, and uh, I'm hanging on by a thread, so uh, anyways. Is, uh, is healing going to help you? Or... I, no, it's not going to help me. I'm a simulacrum. That's I was going I to say that, but then I got shot through the stomach. Oh, his unfortunate turn so, of events. Uh, well, that's fine. I've been told to be friendly to you no matter what so wait hold on sorry Why I just can't someone hold, tell I, the real Averin that I'm just trying to hold my guts in um so uh, nice to meet you freely um yeah you won't forget me it's fine yeah no I definitely well for how long I will live uh, uh, uh so uh Averin and Sophia have ascended and uh I was left behind and in case something bad happened I was to summon all of you uh, and it had to be very, very bad. I'm sorry, the, the cubic gate wasn't working quite I, right. I've picked oh, that up and put it in my pack because there's no way I'm leaving that alone for people to <laughs> mess with. Well, I'm not gonna leave a nuclear <laughs> device on the side <laughs> of the mountaintop. <laughs> no, not not in a bar. Nope. 
Nope. Not that thou wilt get into this circumstance again, but perhaps wear a sign on one's chest. Uh, I am a sim. 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 Yeah, last time that happened, we had to bring the original back to life, though. Like, are you sure Avrin's not? Avrin's not dead, and now we got to go. I mean, like more dead than he usually is. Where we got to go? You said he's ascended. Where? Where is he ascended? Well, I mean, he's kind of dead. He's not coming back. But how? He's always here. What? I see this as a complete win. <laughs> yeah, remember? No, we like we guys. You, we knew this. We went to like the place with the dead gods, and Sophia's was a tree. Like we knew like this was like the next stage. I just thought maybe like it was later. That's yeah. All. No. Yeah. So so this so Averin so, so I mean, Avrin. Yeah. What's the awful thing? What's yeah. the awful thing? What's yeah. The awful yeah. Thing? No. Let's get to that. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Okay. Sorry for. The, sorry for delaying. Uh. It's okay. You were kind of shot. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it is nice to meet you, Okari Eldrex, and everyone. I've I've heard so many so many nice things about you. Um, You're all yeah. lies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, understood. Uh, there is. Storm Herald has returned. What? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Yes. It. Uh, Wait, is that really the bad rem- thing? Freely, remember we would tell you stories about the big floating city that we had for a couple weeks before we took it to Avernus and crashed it It into Avernus. Castle, into a mountain, into the side of the mountain. Yeah, we we have a penchant for the sides of mountains. Honestly, not gonna lie, not ringing any bells, but it still seems on brand. Okay, okay, so crashed city from the hells is not in the hells anymore. Crashed fortress, a flying fortress. I mean, flying fortress. I mean, that sounds pretty metal, literally. Like, okay. And uh, I, I do apologize. I was told not to summon all of you. Uh, this is kind of a modified cubic gate, and you may notice that on sides is a sorry, uh, an image of each of one of you, uh, all six of you, that, that would be summoned in case something catastrophic happened. And uh, well, Storm Herald, having last been in Avernus, and suddenly appearing, and then hearing stories of people being kidnapped by some dark shadowy castle and the sky seemed uh, high on the list. Alindra, can I see the cubic gate? No. I just want to look at my likeness. I mean, it, I it, hold it, it up at a distance. I mean, like, are and they any good? It. Fairly That's solid well. line work. Freely is much well taller looking than Briv and the, the, the character shares. <laughs> no, this is incredible. No, this is that's a high quality cubic gate there. I'm sorry, I shot you, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, look, it's all right. It happens. Yeah. No. I look a lot more metal in that picture than ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You uh, look way meaner in that picture. I have to say, yeah. actually, that's a good point. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. okay. So, Lang City uh, kidnapping people. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Uh, uh, nice to meet you, Penelope Half Pint. Didn't think you'd be a worm, but uh, yeah. And, and Whittle. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Uh, sorry for. Turning Avern into a god, I feel like that might be part of the problem here. He's always getting himself into trouble, biting off more than he can chew. Did Briv ever uh... find garlic? <laughs> what? You have found garlic. <laughs> Briv is literally, while she's talking, going to just walk up and, like, drop it down the back of her shirt. Oh! Why did you do that? I hate garlic so much! Get it out! Uh, uh, Briv! Thou art a vampire? Kill it! Kill it with I fire! Just don't like garlic. Wait, isn't like this, isn't like the sun up? Like, I mean, can't they not do that if the sun's out? Like, I'm, I mean, I don't know the rules of vampires. I've well, just heard about garlic. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's true, I did meet her at overtly at a vampire establishment, and like, I that kind of all adds up now. But I mean, if Avrin thought she was supposed to be part of the super team, maybe we should like give her a chance. Okay, look, I'm gonna come clean, all right? I really don't like vampires. I've been hunting vampires for a long time because as I said before, vampires stole my friend. Which friend? Now I'm a vampire. I don't like it. Oh. Later okay. problem. And you were gonna, right, Riff. I'm gonna, uh, while this discussion and garlic fun is happening, I'm gonna kneel down next to the simulacrum. I'm gonna pull out some of the diamond dust that I have and I'm gonna say, I haven't done this before, but um, I can try. Or Carol Eldrex, I, I don't think you should bother. Nothing can f- fix me. Well, unless, unless someone has some alchemical supplies of some kind, uh, this this is this is going to maybe be it for me. And, and don't feel bad, Freely. You, I, I understand. You've you have history. 
He should feel pretty bad. No, I mean, no, but that's not I, fair. Honestly, I don't though, but I'm gonna act like I do. Yeah, no, no, this is terrible. Yeah. Did Any, say it, that out loud? Can, anything else you need to tell us before your inevitable conclusion? <laughs> well, I was supposed to help all of you uh, throughout the years, but. Um, uh, oh, now we need to find a way to <laughs> help him. Then. No, no, there was something in it for us, though. Okay, all right, it's sorry. Hang on. Has everyone in our time apart just adopted the, the shoot first, ask questions later philosophy? Yes. It was a game of attrition. Okay, okay excuse me. If we're being honest, lasted a little while. Hasn't that always been the way I did things? Shoot. I am a halfling Shoot. of action. I like your style, Freely. Yeah, I like you too, Whittle. And, and honestly, this like pale red thing, like it works though. Like it works. I get it. Just like don't bite me, please. Yeah. No, I. No, I'm, I'm working on. It. I got. I got a few recipes. Uh, I'm pretty much a vegetarian vampire. <laughs> that I seems so unlikely. Many, yeah, Pretty much. So many so, questions. So smooth, smoothies, do you say? Yeah, like you a lot all of, seem very nice. You seem like a good crew. I, I don't say we are the best crew. What, what can um, we do for you? Yeah, what she said. Would uh, thou like me to end it? Uh, <laughs> wait, please. Let's I, hear well, what first they off, have you, to say. there are things I've seen that you can't believe, and I would like to like hang on to that for a bit longer, if that's okay. Oh, very well. Would you yeah. like us to? to know those things as well? Oh, I don't want to trouble you with any of that stuff. No. Thank you, though. Right. Unless I, I just don't want to die right, 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 adventures. right now. Yeah. Uh, I don't suppose any of you are like an alchemist? Or... Okay, cool. All right. Um... I'll look over at the, the, the four people in the bar. I mean, hey, are, do any of you know any al alchemical stuff? Grant could give it a shot, <laughs> but I don't, I don't kind know. Of what, you don't know. Horrified. <laughs> what, what specifically do you need? Do you know? Uh, I actually know how to fix myself. I just didn't think I needed the, 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 the stuff. Um, maybe uh, we can carry thee to wherever thou dost have the things to fix thyself. Only if you feel that would be appropriate. I uh, think that's appropriate, yes. I, okay. I mean, yeah, Where are I'm... we gonna go? Freely owes the. Uh, but oh. I may be partially responsible for having mortally wounded you, maybe. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, uh, so I don't have much magic left in me, but I was able to uh, ascertain the location of Storm Herald and it is actually just above us right now. That is oh. above the storms. I agree. Oh. How do we get it down here? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, first off, we gotta fix you. Second off, we gotta get rid of um, the four of these people because I, those people weren't on the gate. You probably, no, no, Briv, Briv, how long have you known me? When's the last time that I've said get rid of and meant kill? It I just tell you. Was contextually, kind of I, no, thing I, to was, say. I was with you, Briv. I thought, I me. thought she meant like, right. No, contextually, okay. it's me. And I will tell you if I want to mur murder somebody. No, we should find a safe place for these people. And we should fix, fix, uh, you know, and then, and then go like to an evil castle in the sky. To be perfectly fair, I'm not, I, I don't have a soul. I'm, I am an illusion. Uh, I, I am made out of rain and snow. Yeah, so that never stopped me You shouldn't me mourn before. my loss. That's it not be. gonna stop me. I made a snowman one time, and when it melted, it pulled on mine heartstrings so deeply. So <laughs> thou saying that thou art just simply snow actually makes me care about thee much more. I mean, would you like to build a snowman? I mean, it doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay, bye. No. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to Avery with my little shot glass and, and scoop some of him since he's made out of rain and snow and then make a little cocktail out of it and take it back. Oh, oh my. That's uh, just. I like this gnome. Bad. Vampire. What? I like this gnome. That's pretty hardcore. Like, she like, he made him watch her drink him. Okay, all right. So, all right. So, Storm Herald, uh, bringer of doom. In the sky overhead, you were 50-50 on whether or not you're retrievable, right? Like, I mean, are you, like, is, like, death imminent? Like, this is the end? You maybe got a day? Like, I mean, like, again, the last time we dealt with a simulacrum, it was very different, so. Um, mm, yeah, so, uh, I, uh, I have covered, <laughs> well, I'm down to no spell slots. That's, a. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I filled in a little oh. bit of the gap with some frost, but it's all temporary and it's going to go away. Uh, 
using armor of Agathus. That's the only thing, reason I'm still uh, held together right now. It, it, it cannot cast spells. There is no life. I, 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 I can cast spells. Just not. I can't. I can't learn. Where were you hanging out before you appeared here? Oh, uh, I was in Sigil. Minding How the shop, minding I the club. Oh, uh, yeah, no, but Avrin's place there is pretty swank. Yeah, it's true. Avrin's place would have stuff to fix you. It would have resources. It would have doors to get these people back to where they came from. Wait, my, my purpose in being here, though, is to address the issue with Storm Herald. Yeah, I feel I, like... I, yeah, you're losing track of the of the thread here. Apparently, that up there will bring ruin to many lives. Does should... thou want to return to life the pastry I ate this morning? Because it is basically the same thing. I'm did the pastry, pastry this did the pastry this morning talk with you and try to warn you about the imminent destruction of a lot of stuff? No, because I did not have that kind of butter for the pastry. But they have before, and I still would not like to return them to life. You would have really liked Sophia. She could have made talking pastry butter, Briff. Like oh, I, I, I taught her every, everything she knows. You got, you need uh, butter. I'm, I'm your gal. I got a whole bandolier full of butter. Oh, okay. Well, but uh, okay. So Garlic I vote. Well with butter. I vote head to the city. If we get it under control <laughs> soon enough, maybe we circle back because uh, in the time we head off to Sigil to do something, maybe it's going to move. Maybe we don't find it. Maybe a lot of people end up getting hurt. That's my vote. I'm only one half. the fortress so, and fly it to Sigil. In, in the time that everyone is arguing about this, um, may I use... <laughs> We're, uh, we're back. We're back, baby. We're <laughs> <laughs> like we never left, really. Uh, may I use clairvoyance to cast upward to uh, to Storm Herald and see what the heck is going on? Oh, you go into the clouds and through the lightning, and you see an empty Storm Herald, and there are spires that were not there before. You see uh, the Catch the Lightning, in fact. Large steel, strange. Uh, they look like steel at first, but the metal is quite strange, but also with like copper wiring as well. And every once in a while, a lightning bolt hits Storm Herald and kind of gets absorbed by these spires. You see the extensive repairs that have been done. Large iron... You assume iron, but it's hard to tell without it looking closer. Um, just like brackets holding the very foundations of Storm Herald together, the flying city. So the extensive repairs. Maybe some of them were infernal. Some of them look even alien. It's hard to tell who put this thing back together. But there is no one on Storm Herald. There's no signs of life. Okay. Um, so there's no one up there controlling it. Not that you can see. Now, but I mean, how does this clairvoyance let you wander around all of Storm, Storm Herald? Or no, but I could recast it to go someplace else if I needed to, or I could uh, I could cast an arcane eye, but I think I can't go very far with that. Yeah, I can't go yeah. that far with the arcane eye. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Clairvoyance is up to a mile. I could uh, cast it again if I need to. Uh, that's the general information you get at this this point right now. What, what's everyone else doing? All right, well, if we're going to do this, why can you tell us about Storm Herald besides that it's possibly evil and stealing people? That's um, that's a bit, uh, well, that's long and short of it, actually. So there were reports of entire small towns disappearing into the darkness, into the clouds. And one of the villagers actually drew out uh, an outline of what looked very much like Storm Herald to me. Avon left me a, a great deal of books um, outlining all of you, biographies on all of you, the heroes. Any comic books? He did leave some comic books behind for you. He had uh, somewhat of a collection. He assumed Where you Where didn't thou say that thou wert before? Thou didst come here? So, uh, Sigil, yes. In his old club. On Sigil. For the information. You're, Wait, you're welcome. So, <laughs> so, how does one fight a giant floating building? Uh, I, 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 I don't necessarily have that kind of information. I've never had to fight a giant building before. 
What was that, Alindra? Who did the repairs? I don't know. I've never been. I've not been on it. But I, all I know is the last time Storm Herald, that even was aware they existed, from this plane, was in Avernus, destroyed. So what plane are we on? Just We're on the Prime Material plane. We are. Excellent. Yes. Just making sure, because I was far away. It was very strange to travel. Um. All right. So it's. Currently, from what I can see, abandoned, uh, been reinforced with with an iron, perhaps infernal iron, depending on who who took it over. Um, it's absorbing the lightning, so perhaps Griff uh, or Grant might be the one to go examine it. Grant, especially, is uh, quite familiar with lightning, so. Uh, but it seems to be fueling itself with the lightning, new spires, and so forth. Do I recognize the architecture of the spires? You can. Yes, you can go and roll an Archon check. I'll give you that. I think we should 29. just travel there. Uh, they look loosely like a uh, lithid design. Oh, good. Uh, they look like what? Excuse me? <laughs> uh, re recall that time you were a mind flayer? Uh, vividly, yeah, uh huh. I remember that. Good times. Ah, uh, can somebody get me up there? Maybe I can I... read it or something. I I certainly can. Do you want to travel? No, but I probably should. I want to travel. Well, I can take along one <sighs> person. So, really. Hey, bar people, don't die till we get back. If something terrible happens, run in different we directions. Alone, no. We're not alone. We're together. Wait, I mean, can we no. all fly? Can everybody fly? Well, I, I can only take one person with me. Oh. I can this... only fly with Spiral, and Spiral is apparently way back outside where this bar used to be. <laughs> where did this bar used to be? Briv, where were you before this? I was very drunk. <laughs> um, I believe if it was on the prime material plane? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay. Here's a little hair of the dog, Briv, and she throws him a bottle. <laughs> he just take it. Can I just assume Griff is being really judgy right now? <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I well, built this from all the players, so it's perfectly appropriate. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, is is it a twenty? Is it twenty-two? Like, what are we at for judginess? <laughs> oh goodness. Um, on a scale of one to ten, what about a fourteen? Mm. <laughs> Can we use the cubic gate to get everybody up there? Do you? I'm asking Alindra. I mean, some I know I kind of. Some of you can fly and carry people, correct? Yeah, I think I think amongst all of us, we could get everybody up there. Uh, I still have mine. That was uh, that was one that was specifically connected to all of you that Avon had uh, kind of tried to construct. Um, <clears throat> but I have a cubic A as well. Oh. What? I'm I'm willing to try it. I, I mean, I'll I'll take a look at the one that Avon made. I will try anything one time. Well, he, he specifically <laughs> said that I should hold on to this thing, so I, I can I can dimension door you up there. Oh, okay, no, that's probably a good idea. Let us let the simulamamamo pass away, and then we shall take its cubic it, gate. It, it's it's simulacrum, uh, and I feel like you know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Briv, you do. <laughs> you used I it on me so. several times. Also, I... Briv, do you know how to use a cubic gate? Uh oh. No, I do not. Well, then we should let Averin use it, right? Possibly. Uh, but I am just simply saying that Alintra can probably use a cubic gate. And once I he can, melts away to going, ice and snow, we I'm can not pick going up the cubic gate. i kill a duplicate of my father to steal his things. I didn't say kill it. I, he's on his last him. leg. 
I, I don't retain any of his memories, so if you will and rewind to kill your uh, the the visage of your father, I totally That's understand. Not easy, Paul. You, you know, maybe it's therapeutic <laughs> in some way. I am not a monster. I'm not saying kill it right now. Also, I'm simply he... saying that when it melts away. We can pick up the cubic gate and use it. Here's the problem. Also, every time you say any of those really nice things about why you don't mind if you die, that makes it actually harder to kill you. So, like, eh, that's that's oh, not. I, no, okay. If that would help, I can. Uh, I I could easily just stop nope. saying that. No, nope. You know what will help though? Get that dimension door out here, bros. If let's go, time to move. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh. About how many feet, Elendra? Is it up? Five hundred. Is that five hundred feet? Okay. And... All right. Wait. 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 And I'm gonna turn to the four. The, the three and the sleeping uh the sleeping of uh, goblin i'm gonna say we're gonna try to get, fix this and then we'll try to get you back okay but you don't want to come with us this sounds like it's gonna be bad no i don't think we do want to go with you at all we have no idea where you are there's lava all over my inn there's a giant worm thing just slimed all the way across my entire thing and turned into a tiny red-headed halfling. Then there's some kind of vampire here sitting with a very elaborate throne, and I don't know this guy made out of pure metal and this this unusually tall halfling. And then I, I, every time she sees something, her eyes go weird and I don't like any of this. I would like to go home, but my home is on fire. <laughs> and thou art now out of garlic. That's Damn it. Good. <laughs> We're, we're gonna fix this. You're problem three right now, okay? We're gonna come back and we're gonna fix this. Wait, but, oh, I, I, over okay problem three? <laughs> yes, yes. Now problem. Did just say they were problems. Yeah, fixing this problem of them being stuck here. Listen, okay. to you, what would you rather? Would you rather we take care of you or of the city that's like abducting people and gonna destroy the entire universe, which is why it's, we all ended now up this here. is a moral quandary thing. I, we'll fi we're fine, we're fine. We're just going to sit here on the mountain. I mean, are you any good in a fight? You could come help us like try and save the world maybe. Not really, once I lost a fight with a broom. All right, have at it then. Dimension no, let's go. <laughs> How heavy do you think Strahd's throne is? Uh, why? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like a nice chair just to leave here in an inn in the middle of the mountain. Could potentially finance your your remodel. You do have an elastic bag of holding, uh, if yeah, that's what you're getting at, Whittle. Um, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, DM. Uh, and she's going to take her bag and put it over the top of the chair just to test out what would happen. Could, okay, could you start put putting. In you ever the put too much in a hefty bag? <laughs> so it is awkward. Like, you have to. Like, you're really. This is 10 minutes. A 10 minute montage of Will just. Eh, 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 eh. Sideways. Helps sideways. He is absolutely an expert at putting things in bags of holding. Okay, you're oh, just shoving you, Strahd's throne into this elastic bag of holding right now. Penelope, come here. Penelope. Penelope, Alindra, come here. Freely. Yeah. yeah, while they're doing that. While they're doing that. Because that's going to take 10 minutes, and I'm going to, I'm going to, while they're doing that, I don't know what they're doing. I don't really want to know. Uh, I'm going to ask. I'm taking Strahd's throne with me. I thought it was pretty obvious. I'm taking this. You know, she says that. And I'm not sure if I really understand what's going on. Um, yeah. I feel that's no less concerned. Yeah, surprisingly not very informative. But yes, Orkira, what are you thinking? Also, uh, I love the hat. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Ritual. Just one, yes or no? Is it, is it specific to our current situation? Okay, I have an additional yes or no that is current to this situation, yes. What, what are your questions? I will accept requests at this moment. I get three. Uh, should we go reclaim the Flying City? Okay. I, I said I only wanted one. <laughs> okay, do the other two of you have specific questions that are yes or no that I can ask? Is... The uh, are there enemies aboard Storm Arrows currently? Okay. Uh, may maybe <laughs> is this a trap? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Let's start yeah. with that one. And yeah, maybe, maybe lead with that. Yeah. 
I'm Are going to... Are Avron's comic books still located in Sigil in his private abode? I, That'll I feel... be question four. Yeah, I'm that's going four to on the list, yeah. spend the 10 minutes that they're, that the bag is eating the throne, which is the thing I just said. I'm going to cast Commune, and uh, I'm going to sit wherever I can on, on the ground <laughs> holding my book. I mean, there's nice touch. cooling lava right now that is now... <laughs> That is has blackened and is like you know kind of interesting looking. It's like a good place to probably meditate. Uh, no, cooling <laughs> off is just sad. Uh, it's, it's just it's just depressing, right? Like it was warm. I was having such a nice day. Okay, so I'm gonna cast commune, which lets me ask three questions of my deity, and they are yes or no questions. Um, and if the response is going to, if the yes or no is going to be uh, misleading, the answer can be unclear. So the first question, hi, sorry I left. I thought that was you. That's not, that's, that's my bad. That's my bad. I will work on that vowel. Okay, first, is the floating city we're going to a trap? No. Okay, that's good. That's good. Phoenix says no. Um... Second one was about enemies, right? I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are there any enemies aboard the Flying City? Yes. Yep. Yep. Totally enemies. Bad. Bad. What yes. Was it? Yeah. Huzzah. <laughs> right. Huzzah. Yeah. Good. You're all much happier about that than I am. What was the third question that we had, Lindra? You had a. Do you had a question? Uh, it, my question was, are there enemies aboard? Okay. What was the third question? Well, I, I said originally, should we go reclaim the city? But I mean, it's not a trap. But there's enemy on board, so it's kind of implied. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'll leave it up to you. Comics and Sigil. No, not comics and Sigil. Oh wait, no, I know, I know. Ugh. I don't want to know the answer to this, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Are the enemies more mind flares? <sighs> ask me yes or no. Yes. As well, so divine beings aren't necessarily omniscient, so you might receive unclear as an answer if a question pertains to information that lies beyond the deity's knowledge. In a case where a one-word answer could be misleading or contradictory to the deity's interests, the GM might offer a short phrase as an answer instead. So I, I won't get a lie because it's my god, but... Yes. Mm, now I'm ambivalent. I am okay, not certain I you. want to go any longer either. Well, but we can't let the Mind Flayers have your flying fortress either. Well, you guys, we were brought together for a reason. We should yeah. be able to do this. Yeah, we gotta go. It's just the here's the problem. I'm just like when they do the mental stuff, like that is not my forte, okay? Like um that's um I'm just okay, that's alright, that's okay, that's okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Open the portal, let's go. You got this. I'll be here with you freely. That kind of worries me, because I don't know that mental stuff is your strength either, Penelope. But one way or yeah. another, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. Yeah. I think you all are a very effective team, and you will do well. Dimension door, let's go. Okay. All right. I will open up the uh, dimension door, and he holds up his cubic gate, which almost looks like it's made out of ice itself. And a dimension door pops open at this exact moment, right on one of the turrets of Storm Herald. Wait, is that us? <laughs> you walk through? Yeah, you do have to walk through, yes. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I run What through. I'm saying was there was a separate portal with other people on the turret, or was that us? No, no, no. The, the portal is on the The turret. other side of it. <laughs> got it, yeah. got it. Okay. I, I charged well, I know through, I but... run a fast and loose game. No, no, no. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we didn't have enemies. The, the okay. moment I can go through, Freely dies. Just like, boom, just do it. <laughs> yeah, you, you pop out, and your like, ears pop because you're at a diff different al altitude again. <laughs> And, and you're you're on the, you're on one of the turrets of Storm Herald. Oh yeah, Whittle fits the rest of Strahd's throne into her bag of holding and <clears throat> walks through the dimension door. Yeah, and it shrinks it shrinks down to a, a, a convenient size, a small little bag now, as it's been all enveloped. Uh, you, like as you are walking to the dimension door, you do you do see Strahd's hand still twitching on the ground. Wait, where is the hand? It's on, it's in the snow right before the dimension door. Do I see that hand? Can I grab the hand too and put it in my bag of holding? I thought I thought it was kicked into lava. Yeah. Was, oh yeah. 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 It was kicked into lava. So oh. it's slightly burned. 
It's an indestructible hand. It's, crawl, it's crawled out of the lava. We must keep it. I think we should keep it. I we think I should, it. and I I would like to shoot it uh, with sacred flame as soon as I see it. It it may regrow no. a straw. You say that like it's a good thing. Listen, uh, I'm already being okay with the half vampire over here. We're not bringing the hand to, and I'm gonna shoot it with sacred I'm, flame. I'm with Orkira on this. How very tolerant. You, you shoot it with sacred flame, and it becomes inert. And it's just kind of crisping. I'll take that because we've got mind flares. And I take walk the crispy with... hand. <laughs> <laughs> Biddle, are you taking the crispy hand? We can yeah, smite it a... later. I'm going to make myself a crispy hand sandwich. <laughs> yes. Hand sandwich. Jeez. <laughs> Puts it into her bag of holding. And I've it had white up meat. Here. But not vampire meat. I'm gonna cast <laughs> turn undead, and everyone is gonna end up running away from me. I'm gonna be like, "What's going on?" <laughs> I'm sure there will be no negative repercussions to this course of action whatsoever. Yeah, it'll be None. fine. None. It'll be fine. We're not gonna get chased down by Strahd. So, by turrets, do you mean a weapon emplacement I'm capable of using, or just a tall tower on board? No, the no, ship? a tall tower. Yeah. Because no, right, no, no, I will no. rotate these guns around and start blasting <laughs> even before they get here. <laughs> Okay. I mean that's valid. That's yeah. like if we could just take this thing down, mm -hmm. I'd be I'd be all for that. All right, no, you all move the through the, the dimension door, and uh, Simulacrum Avern also passes through, still holding his stomach. Oh, oh he's all right. Buddy. Look at that. He's walking Damn. and everything. Thou can't just sit this one out. No, I I'm supposed to help the heroes. Well, then thou shouldst walk first. Or. No. <laughs> How many more times can you do that dimension door thing? Uh, well, I, I, I can at least use the cubic gate. Uh, I'm not very good in combat, and I'm running out of uh, spells, though I uh, there are some things I can do that uh, last forever. Like that's friendship? Not, that's ominous. Uh, is there, like... Orkir's gonna look around. Does it look like this turret that they're in is a semi-safe place that the Similaricum could... You're on the outer edge of Storm Herald, yeah, for right. sure. Why don't you stay here, and then we've got a place to retreat to if we need to. Okay, that sounds um, that sounds fair. I uh, I will just step into the shadows, and he, as he does so, he just goes invisible. He disappears. Oh, I see the family resemblance now. Nice. Yep. Ah, uh, okay, so you guys, if we see any Mind Flayers, like, I think I still remember how to speak Mind Flayer, but I don't necessarily want to still speak Mind Flayer, so... It's a lot of gobble stops. Yeah, a, 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 yeah you, guys, you guys remember what it was like when I was all, I nice to meet you. Remember how, like, all that? Yeah, it's at the back of the throat. A lot of it's at the back of the throat. yes. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> okay, which way? You guys have been here. I haven't. Uh, so... Avrin said that there were books that were left for us. Not uh, just says this way and starts and walking sickle. towards the kitchen. And mm -hmm. sickle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Alindra, is, go ahead. Is the tree still in the courtyard? Oh, there is a tree, but it's not alive. Okay. All right, are we trying to destroy this place? Or are we trying to find something? Like what? Well, it would be I, valuable to have with us. Yeah, I think liberation is plan. Yeah, liberation is plan A. Because, I mean, like, look at this baby. We could go anywhere in this thing. And then, like, you know, so, desolation is plan B, though. Uh, yeah, I, uh, go and give me uh, Whittle and Alindra. Give me our context. Net 20. Hey! hey. Uh, 28. Wow. I will uh, use my gifted portent. <laughs> so I have a, a dirty 20. Uh, since this is apparently what Will does when it's ever like any highly technological, horrible thing mixed with terrible magic, always gets a natural 20, as we've learned from B Dave's adventures as well. Um, I turned you, you into a god. You immediately, not that guy. <laughs> no, well, not that guy. Uh, you immediately get the sense that this 
entire fortress was reassembled for a reason, and that they have tried to preserve some of the magical elements contained within it. Some of the... You see some viscous material when by looking around, mixed with the copper wiring and also the alien metal, that implies that maybe this fortress is capable of some level of teleportation oh. after the modifications uh, so it seems like uh, these mind flayer things are doing some sort of teleportation terraforming I think we, they, they do that can you figure out where like a control center is and we can start there you I mean, absolutely know the, the control, control room. The control room. You 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 can see just the wires and the weird veiny things that are you know almost growing like red vines everywhere on Storm Herald lead to the control room. Uh, how are we feeling about using so, the technology of our enemies? So to be clear, it was okay. not like this last time, is what you're telling me? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It looked like this, and all minor illusion, what it used to look like. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, okay, so hear me out, though. Like, I mean, I made use of, like, Mind Flayer technology to find you guys. That's how I made it across space and time. So, any tool available yeah. to us. Yeah, like, it's not innately it's wrong. Tool. Yeah. What, what did you say the vine things were made of? Copper wire? Kind of. Wire? Well, there are copper wires, but there's also fleshy bits, almost oh. like veins. Briv pulls a little bit of fleshy bit off and, like, tastes it. Brit. Uh, maybe not. Oh. You hear a screech all over the entire building. This so apparently it is alive. I... The, the moment he does that, I just hold my sword up and ignite it in the green flames, but just look at everybody. <laughs> like, wait, wait a moment, please. Um, would we like to try and communicate with? Oh, the storm oh, oh. I I want to see if I can do this. I've been working on something for the last year. And well, I have been work I have been working I have been working with flow and watch watch this. You're not going to make a stink cloud, are you? And then I <laughs> and then I I say, "Alindra, can you hear me telepathically to Alindra?" Yes, Brave. Like, what? How well, did you? They can't hear this part now, but and then I say, freely. This is Brave, Okira. I can talk directly to thine mind, and I'm doing. Wait, so, all this. so, are you using like telepathic bond? Do you have you have like a fifth level spell? Kind of no, I. It is just the magic that is Brave. <laughs> In game terms, I have picked up the telepathic feat. Um, because I have been uh, exposed to flow for so long. So you're it's a one-on-one -on -one with, with that, correct? That is correct. It's not a group chat? Okay. It is, but I could try to talk to the ship. Well, what I was thinking is I have the ability to put us all in the same circle of communication, which we, 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 we uh, affectionately refer to as group chat. Um, and perhaps we could include that creature, but I have concerns about connecting with it. Yeah, hear me out. Maybe let Briv just Briv try it, because if it's it going to, like, cover somebody's mind, it'll just get the one, you know? I, yeah. Oh, just the one, yeah. No, yeah. no big deal. I think I we should let, let Briv do, do this. I think we should let Briv do this, because first off, I don't think we have the time, because I think the Mind Flayers already know, and second, it's really funny hearing Briv pretend to be all of you in my head as he relays <laughs> All of the things that he's that everyone's been saying. You know, you should have met our friend Callie. She could do that group chat thing too. She was also very telepathic and very dangerous. No, have at it, Briff. Yeah, say hello to the thing you've just bitten. <laughs> hello, thing I have just bitten. Hello. Oh, thou. Why does telepathy always sound like a jackalope or something? <laughs> this is Briff Steel Marrow. And I am coming to you via telepathy, but thou dost probably already know this. We are hungry. Hungry for what? I have a little bit of food in my pack. <laughs> Where are you right now? 
I am not going to tell thee that until thou hast verified thine identity. I have been involved in too many phishing scams. Keep him talking. Keep him talking. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. And I, I, I removed my fingers from my head. Don't you have to say it, <laughs> they, they, they are trying to locate us through the telepathy. <gasps> what do we do? Oh. Everybody stop thinking. <laughs> okay, now what? Not a difficult <laughs> task. And that's the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Episode. Oh, we lost freely. <laughs> no, I, no, I was, I was following instructions. Uh, <laughs> you hear the weird clacking of claws in the distance on stone, just clickety clack, clickety clack. Oh, it's time! And I'm gonna and clap more, my hands. More, more. They're gonna light up with fire. And I'm gonna touch freely. I'm gonna touch uh, Penelope and uh, Death Ward time. Death Ward time. Ah. The both uh, of you, uh, flaming wings come out of your back and then suck back into your body as the both of you now have a death ward. And what else? Miss this so much, and I pull out both swords. <laughs> and anyone I miss else? You guys. I, if you don't mind. Sure, I got one more, and I will <laughs> clap Alindra on the back, and flaming wings will come out of her back. And I, I will blow all three of my fourth ward. level spells and death ward the three of them because clacking noises and mind flares. Just, nope, nope, nope. Death nope, ward, nope. death ward, death ward. I'm prepared to run. Yeah, the rest of us. The rest I of am us, prepared to fight. Yeah, the rest of us need to be run. prepared to not die. That too. Okay. Freely, I need you to roll a perception check. Mm, that is not my strength. <laughs> oh, I did okay though. Twenty-one. Oh wow! Hmm. You see, because of the green flame and now the light coming off of Alindra, you're just kind of trained to see certain shapes instinctually, mm -hmm. uh, having spent a lot of time in that shape. You see several mind flare corpses up against one of the walls of Storm Herald, dead. Uh, desiccated, thin. Does Widow see? Do, they look too? drained, but not not necessarily like do like are they clay like stabbed, shot, or do they just look dead and dried? Uh, make an investigation check. And what was that, Widow? Uh, does Widow also see these desecrated mind flayers? Uh, desiccated, yes. Desiccated, sorry. I mean, that desecrated too. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, you said yes. Yeah, go ahead. You can roll an investigation check yourself, actually, with advantage on that. Um, Sixteen. You this these mind flares were are way too skinny, way too thin. They're shriveled. Uh, uh, something happened to those guys over there. You see them? It's like something literally sucked the life out of them. I got an eighteen. You notice the telltale signs of what look like fang marks on these mind flares. Uh, I have a feeling something got here before we did and took these guys out. Wait, thou art saying the mind flayers are dead? I mean, at least some of them, they're right over there. You see them? Against, like, 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 look to the side. Like those, like, those, like, weird tenderly bits. That's not the wall. Those are dead mind flayers. Those, th right there. Like, to the left. More to okay. the left. Next to that pipe. Right there. Uh, there's still there's at least it, some of them. is standing right above it. Yeah. I, I I see it now. That <laughs> <laughs> does not have to be can, so mean about it. Can Whittle, can Whittle take a little uh, little nibble of one of the one uh, of the tentacles? Oh it, uh, yeah, you can, you can take a bite out of one of the, the tentacles. Yeah. Yeah, just just want to try it. Yeah. Want to try? This it. one's I'm a, new, I'm a new vampire. This one's fairly recently dead. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna, you go roll uh, damage for how much you uh, drain out of its tentacle. I'm going to look over at Alindra. I'm going to say, I'm just going to start waiting until they all turn into horrible things before I say I told you so. I figured if I just I'm, wait. Can I? I, y yes, I, I am with you on the preemptive uh, I told you so. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, that is the moment I certainly foresee. Yes. Any perception checks all around? Uh, it is at this point I would like to remind you that I have the observant feet and my passive perception is a 28. Woo. Good to know. I'll, I will still give you a, an active perception, but... That's a uh, twin, dirty 20. 70. Okay. That's a 25. 
17. And Griff is a... <laughs> an 11. 17. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you start hearing from one of the stairwells the same click clacking, but it's not rapid. It's moving slowly. And you hear in your heads, Pulse. Star. Pulse. Star. Wait. Like, yes. Wait, like, do I recognize that voice? Because I am very intimate with flumps, and that sounds... I don't know if that's a Todd sounding like it, or do <laughs> no, I recognize... It sounds it? flump-ish. I would have you to stay. Wait, wait. This could be friends. It could be flumps. I know that mental signature energy sound... Well, you go, the, you go first, but if it bites you, I'm lighting it up. Very literally. well. I shall do it. And Briv walks forward. Hello, Flumps. I go right behind him. Hello, Flumps. <sighs> oh. I, 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 I'm, I'm looking. Do I see anything? Mind flares. Do not be afraid. Of I'm going to hit count counter charm so if if they try and charm anybody they're gonna have advantage on the save freely they get, just start they, they get advantage uh, if, yeah we get advantage against charms it just starts humming the lightning flashes for a second and out of the stairwell you see this thing that is almost like a, a hurt cat or puppy crawling out of the stairwell and you see something rotted, something not quite right. You see a brain with rotting claws crawl out of the stairwell. We want to be part not, of you. Not, not a flump. No, no, not no, a flump. No. 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 Kill it, not kill it with fire. No. Good feelings gone. <laughs> <laughs> Will spits out the part that she like bit. I would like to guiding bolt the thing on the stairs. <laughs> yeah, I would also like to do violence, but I know we're near the is end. You it, tell me if how this is gonna go. <laughs> yeah. I... And then you see all of them <gasps> crawling down from the tower. When you look up, you see dozens of intellect devourers, but limping and crawling, spider climbing down, rotten and desiccated and undead. And at this moment, behind Whittle, you see one of the Mind Flayers stand up, tear off its robes, and just muscles begin to rip, and large fanged teeth inside of an already fanged mouth of a Mind Flayer just screams. Yeah, we're dead. I'm going to click my heels and run. <laughs> as soon as she is... 31 feet away from me. I'm I'm instead of go, doing a guiding bolt, I'm turning on dead. Nice. Yeah, I run 100 feet away. <laughs> You're like running out of the way. Do you, you, are you like Hi. used to like getting out of the way of a holy uh, a holy symbol? It, that, that too, yes. <laughs> Just get, At this moment, get you away see from your all this nonsense. Your Eldrix hold up the Book of the Phoenix and you probably do like a baseball slide into like home. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, nope. <laughs> she, I, I I keep an eye on her, and I'm like, uh, okay. And then I will. Yep. You're good, Okira. As soon as she's 31 feet away, <laughs> turn on deck. You see more vampiric elithids crawl out of the ground at this moment, and you hear in your voices, Rock home, heroes. And that's where we'll leave off. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching <laughs> Heroes of the Plains. I am so excited to be back with my friends and terrified to DM again. Uh, I, I like, I, I, thank you so much, uh, Megan Kenrick, for playing Whittle. Thank you so much, Ian Kretschmer, uh, Alindra Sabrand, B. Dave Walters, uh, playing Freely, Penelope Halfpint, playing Hope Lavelle, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Brad for playing Ruth Stillmer. I'm never going to stop doing it. I'm just leaning in. <laughs> And Lauren Urban, of course, playing Orkara Eldrix. Let's, we've got some announcements, I'm sure, from everybody. So go ahead and dive in. Thank you all at home, by the way, for watching. Uh, this is a fantastic platform. I'm really excited to use this uh, for playing D&D. &D. Everybody grab a shout out. B-Dave, you start. 
Uh, B-Day Walter, as I say, words about things, doing all kinds of stuff. Again, catch us on uh, twitch.tv forward slash CNE games at 4 Pacific, where you can see three of us uh, playing Idol Champions Presents tomorrow, Scoured Stars, on the official Paizo channel at 7 Pacific. And then follow me on the Tweetograms at B-Day Walters for all the other stuff. You can't keep track of it. I barely can. Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the community manager for Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You should definitely play that game. If you'd like to see more of me, you can find me on Twitter as Oboe Lauren. You can also find me playing this character, uh, you know, a, maybe a year or so ago on D4 on Sundays on the Rock Punch ATL channel. So go see D4 and you can see more of Orkira. Hope. Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. You can also listen to me play some D&D on Attackers of Opportunity, wherever you can find podcasts. Megan. Hello, everybody. I'm Megan Kendrick, and I'm married to that guy, this wonderful DM. I'm so excited <laughs> that I get to play in a group with these wonderful people and have Todd DM. He is chaotic fun, and I have just begun interviewing Todd on his Todd Kendrick channel on YouTube about all D&D things. Uh, the name of this show is... Megan and Todd talk D and D, and I will also be right here on Demi Plane RPG's Twitch channel every Tuesday at six PM. Jen, hi, I am Jen Kretschmer. Um, I you can find me on Twitter as at Dreamwisp. You can find me on Twitch as Dreamwisp Jen. I will be streaming tomorrow night. Um, I will be on Thursday uh, hanging out with Lauren uh, on uh, showing off Alindra in Idol Champions. Alindra just uh, is joining Idol Champions. Um, also, currently on Idol Champions, you can pick up the Grant Familiar. Grant was named for my friend Grant Imahara, and so all of the proceeds are going to benefit uh, the foundation in his honor, the Grant Imahara Steam Foundation. Um, I also helped write this thing, Candle Keep Mystery, yeah! which is in stores today. Um, it's the newest D&D hardcover. I wrote a, an adventure called The Canopic Being for level 13 characters, and I can't believe it's out there in the world, and I'm so happy to be back with all of you. Did I miss anything? <laughs> I covered a lot of ground Todd how about you I, I am Todd Kenrick I, I, I have my own YouTube channel again I am back to doing that stuff doing interviews there and I am of course doing a show with uh, my wonderful wife where we just talk about D&D &D and hang out and, and cover role playing games and I'm excited to be back doing that I am also the creative manager over at Idol Champions I am running a game for Gary Khan uh, this Saturday uh, with Melf well, and that's right. uh, yeah, and Whittle's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Whittle and Elf on another whirlwind adventure. So, like, there's Definitely lots of things going on. Not going to try and sell Melf his own crossbow or anything. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I also uh, have a Gary Khan accessibility panel, but I think that's next week. Perfect. Ooh. Excellent. Keep an eye out for all that. And I am Adam. I'm the CDO here at Demiplane. And we've got a lot more content and a lot more ground that we're going to cover with Demiplane itself. But register for today, Demiplane.com. Check it out. And uh, again, much more to come. Follow us, like us in all the places where you can keep up to date with everything that's happening. And we will see everybody here. This has been so much fun today. It's going to be so much fun going forward. We'll see you here next Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific. Later, Gators. <laughs>